Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Tuesday Talk on this channel. Now I'm really excited for today's video because Merch by Amazon has recently launched or introduced new products namely tote bag or tote bag or however you pronounce it and throw pillows. Now I'm really excited about these new products and I'm going to tell you why. So in this video I'm going to talk about my uh, thoughts on these new products and possibly when you are going to have access to these new products. Also at, towards the end of the video I'll show you how you can prepare your files inside Photoshop and Affinity Designer for these two new products. So make sure that you watch the video till the end. So today when I signed into my Merch by Amazon account, I saw this message on dashboard where they have introduced the beta or beta launch of uh, new products, tote bags, tote bags, however, or whatever you want to call it and uh, throw, throw pillows. Now again, as usually when they ever, uh, whenever they introduce new products, um, they provide different templates and some kind of instruction for these uh, new products. And in addition to that, they also say that not all of the people, all of the these contributors are going to have access to these new products. They are going to uh, give access to the contributors, uh, you know, uh, from time to time. So uh, it will take some time when you all, when all of us are going to have access to these products. Now, personally, I uh, I don't have. A Access to these uh, products yet on my account so um, I'll also share uh, with you when are you going to have access to these products but before that let's uh, click on this FAQ button and that they have sent it to uh, get some more details regarding these two products so uh, the, mostly the FAQs regarding tote bags and throw pillows mostly they are the same so I'm just going to uh, go through the, uh, one of these uh, products that's the tote bags and the good thing is that the uh, design size the or the print file size that they require the dimension is that 2925 into 2925 the uh, throw pillows and tote bags both have the same design file requirements meaning you do not have to prepare separate file for both of these products this is really good and again as uh, much by amazon usually uh, you know want they only want the png images they did not want jpeg images or any other thing so if you are a uh, little bit confused about the file formats i have already prepared a video on this channel in which i have discussed the different file formats png jpeg and also the cmyk and RGB format uh, color profile so if you are interested in that you can check that video out and I'll put the link in the card above so let's uh, get down to towards the bottom and uh, how do I create the artwork so they, they again uh, provided the product templates which I, uh, I will go through these templates uh, later on so they have already have provided the uh, product templates if we want to use it now no you don't necessarily have to have these product templates but uh, these templates uh, do helps you uh, somewhat in creating these files. So again, they have mentioned the product size 2925 and 2925. Now the good thing is about these products, these products is that they are all over print products. Means that the print, um, there is no kind of blank area around these products, any edges or something like that. It is completely all over print products and this is really good. Uh, I think Redbubble have all over print uh, tote bags and uh, throw pillows and uh, Spreadshirt does not have all over print products uh, especially tote bags and throw pillows so if you want to see the difference between all over print products and uh, you know the sort of square size or whatever rectangular side print inside the print non all over print products you can see the templates on Redbubble or you can say the example on Redbubble and on Spreadshirt and you will be clearly able to see what is the difference between all over print products and then non all over print products or simple products so the good thing is that these are all over print products and then again um, these things that the prints are on both sides then and, and the next thing is the safe zones regarding the safe zone now the green area which also I'll show you in the template when I'll open it inside affinity designer and uh, photoshop so the thing is that your main artwork so the main if you have any kind of text any kind of thing important uh, elements design elements this should be inside the safe zone this green area now this green area is a little bit different for tote bags and on for uh, throw pillows as well and i will show you later as well so just keep in mind that any important thing should be inside this green area and then again the product mockups and all that and uh, again as they have said that um, once you have assess they are going to uh, you know enable these assess on the rolling basis and i'll talk about when possibly that can happen for the people especially for us like me when who are at lower tiers and uh, the royalties page i'll just uh, go through briefly about the royalty page and so in, if i see the royalties and uh, it's pretty kind of 
close to the you can say that uh, somewhat like uh, those phone cases and uh, for work for example 1999 product uh, you will get 2.09 which is i think it is a pretty a little bit low anyway so mostly i don't know what will be the default price of these products going to be because i still don't have access to that but i think the, the ideal would be 21.99 for uh, these throw pillows actually for the, uh, these throw pillows and uh, i think uh, for tote bags it's going to be 1999 so this is i think uh, i'm hoping for that these are going to be the default uh, prices for these products so let's talk about the template so if you want to design these products if you want to design it uh, prepare your files as using their provided templates so they have provided templates for adobe photoshop illustrator and gimp and if you are using affinity designer or affinity photo don't worry you still uh, can use these templates especially the photoshop template okay so uh, let's uh, download this adobe photoshop template and open up inside photoshop and then later on inside affinity designer and i'm going to show you how you can prepare your files okay uh, before actually before we do that let's talk about when you are going to have access to these new products so previously uh, whenever they launched these new products uh, because i'm still a tier i'm at tier 4000 so the people um, they are choosing for uh, access to these products is at random sometime a person who has a really higher tier and he does not have access to these the new products and someone who has a little bit lower tier tier 6000 or 10000 maybe and uh, they have access to the products so they choose at random basis but when they use uh, when they allow all of, all of their uh, contributors to have access to these products it usually takes one month now this is a little bit problematic here at this moment for these two, two new products because today is uh, November 17 so if we consider they are going to give access to us about uh, after one month so that is going to be November, uh, December 17 and as we already know it, it's too close to the Christmas holidays so if, we, if they do not give us access before uh, one month of uh, the launch of these products this is going to be a little bit uh, you can say a little bit disappointing for these uh, people who are at lower tiers because uh, it's not really a good uh, use to us if it is that close to the December uh, 25 but again as they have just recently launched these uh, phone cases in the I think in August or something like that or maybe September some, somewhere like that, in July or August so when they launched these new products and uh, we were not hoping for that they are going to launch these tote bags and throw pillows this year maybe they will launch it next year also because of the COVID-19 situation and more over they have just launched the phone cases and they have introduced the you know, iPhone 12 and uh, versions and all that. Uh, so again, but uh, they have uh, introduced these products. But one thing that you have might not notice in the previous launch of the new products, the dashboard message, and in this new dashboard message is that when they launched the phone cases, they did not use the word beta or beta in that dashboard message. But in this message for the launch of these uh, throw pillows and tote about they have used the word beta or beta so this can uh, if we think about it i think that can be a bit bit a bit of uh, worrying about uh, for the people who are, are at lower tiers and who do not have access to these products yet is that they might give us access to us uh, for these new products or enable us for uh, you know uh, enable these products for us our accounts maybe after the uh, winter holidays maybe after the christmas holidays so that's can be that can happen because they have used the word beta and they again say they are testing it they are not fully launched it uh, new complete they are testing it there might be some kind of problems here and there so it can happen and it can also happen that within two weeks they can give us all access before the December 1st so that more and more contributors have access to these products and so that um, of course uh, the, if the contributors make sales Amazon makes sales and they make money so that can also happen so I, I would not say that before two weeks we are all going to have access to it that is kind of, I would say that's the going to be the minimum uh, time period uh, after two weeks we might have all assessed and also if we mm, consider it, uh, the longer time uh, frame I will um, that can be after the uh, December 25th or winter holidays or it can be very close to that I, as I said about one month that can be December 17 or something like that so again don't worry about it uh, we still are going to all are going to have access to that and if uh, we don't have access to it yet we can um, use this time to prepare our files for these products and get ready the files 
um, you know just in time so that when these products are enabled for our accounts we can upload hundreds of designs uh, in a very short time so let's start preparing the files so i have opened up their template inside photoshop and uh, the one thing that i want to clarify here is that you do not have to use the same template you can simply use the any artwork sized file size that have the dimension of 29 25 pixel in horizontal and in vertical uh, you can say the dimensions so if you uh, don't want to use these templates that's okay but if you use it the one addition help they, you get is that you get a preview a mock-up preview of these products before uh, finalizing your file so uh, when you open up uh, this template inside photoshop at the top of the layers panel you will get this uh, another layer that has the green eye and they are saying that edit this smart object so if if I double click here it opens up a new tab or file which uh, in which we can place our artwork now i'm going to use the patterns that i've designed uh, previously on, on this channel i've used uh, photoshop adobe illustrator inkscape uh, and uh, affinity designer and also affinity photo so uh, if you want to check out those videos how to prepare your um, how to design patterns in those software so i'll put the link in the card above so, or you can um, you know search on my channel as well if i don't have enough enough space in the card above so let's uh, bring out one of the pattern and uh, start designing it so this is the pattern i have already prepared uh, which i also shown in, in, uh, in on this channel as well in photoshop so if i open up this up inside photoshop i can go to edit and get it defined pattern i don't have to do it if you are going to you know uh, watch that video but for the time being if you all don't have it inside the pattern swatch so just click define pattern name it pattern file i will i'm going to name it birds and that's okay then i'm going to go into that tab where the uh, artwork area is and then inside you know, on this layer there's uh, uh, you can say that new adjustment layer or something i'm going to go uh, and use a pattern pattern fill layer so this is going to uh, give us this pattern inside our design and i'm going to scale it down let's say maybe 50 percent i think that's fine so whenever you are satisfied with your pattern you can move it also as well so whenever you are uh, satisfied with your design press ctrl or command s to see it on the mockup so once you are uh, press ctrl and command s and it is done processing if you go to the tab where our design is you will be able to see the artwork or mock artwork also on the mockups as well so you will be able to see how it will look on the products and that is really good so if you are satisfied with your, de your design your placement you can go through that you know just tap that uh, artwork tab in which you have uh, used that pattern layer you can go to that and then file save as and then save it as a png image remember always save it as a png image and you are good to go so that was pretty easy now let's uh, uh, open up this template this adobe photoshop template inside affinity designer so i'll go to the file and then open and i'll select that photoshop template now before you open up uh, this template inside affinity designer actually i have already opened it but before i open up and if uh, you find any kind of problems here and you will see some kind of problems here because that is the psd format and if that is not of uh, affinity designer format but we can fix it so before opening up any of these psd templates you have to go to the file and uh, i think i did not not the file in on the edit and then preferences and in the general tab make sure that these options are checked import psd text as text that uh, not really necessary but anyway import psd text as text and this is very important you have this option should be checked import psd smart objects where possible so that option should be checked by default it might not be checked so that option should be checked so once uh, you check it close it and then open up that psd template file and uh, you will be good to go that will have uh, less problems as compared to you know not having uh, that option checks so again uh, when you open up in this uh, affinity designer at the top you have this option edit this smart object so if you double click on this icon not on the text on this icon if i double click it opens up that in a new tab now in this tab we can bring our artwork any image anything i'm going to use the patterns here so because that is uh, mostly people are going to use so i in order to design this product 
what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select this rectangle shape rectangle tool and I'm going to choose this uh, corner and make sure that at the top you have this snapping option checked if it is not checked uh, you might get a little bit problem while uh, you know designing these products so make sure that this snapping option is checked and select this corner area and it might highlight into the yellow depending upon your software settings so I'm going to select this corner and I'm to scale it up and I'm going to release it at another corner so when I'm reached at another corner I can uh, you can see that I have this uh, in addition to the yellow lines I have the size that they are, they are mentioned here that is 29.25 so if I release it I have made it perfect 29 uh, 25 and if uh, you are not really sure you can extend it beyond the edges and it you can still use it it doesn't matter you can extend it beyond the edges artwork and that you will still be okay to use it so let's just extend it uh, you know beyond the boundaries of this artwork uh, but it's better to be safe than sorry because you might have a little bit pixel two pixels left on the edges and that might look weird when it is printed so let's just extend it beyond the edges and in order to bring our patterns inside this affinity designer i have already made a video on this uh, but again let me show you how you can prepare these files so uh, i have this rectangle template selected at the top i can bring it down at, towards the bottoms as well below these guides if i want to uh, that totally depends upon you and then i'm going to select this uh, fill tool so if i select the fill tool at the top at the type option i have can have the option i will have the option to select the pattern files that i have already saved in the form of png image and i have prepared a detailed videos on that uh, so make sure that you check those videos so i uh, from this type instead of solid i'm going to select the bitmap and i'm going to choose that png image of a uh, pattern that i have just shown you inside photoshop so i'm going to select that file so once uh, that file is open inside our template we can just scale it down in these handles scale it down so make sure before scaling it down or up uh, don't scale it up i wouldn't uh, you know say that that's a good idea but before you do that make sure that this option is checked maintain fill aspect uh, maintain fill aspect ratio this lock option is clicked it is not in this gray area it should be a darker gray so make sure that is checked checked and then you can scale it down and in addition to that you can rotate these patterns as well so in photoshop you cannot do that you cannot rotate these patterns but inside uh, this uh, affinity designer you can uh, scale it down and rotate these pattern and if you press the shift button it wouldn't rotate it it will just be perfect scaling it down so let's just uh, maybe this is better so you don't have to press control s or anything like that and you are still good to go this is a you can say the positive points or of using affinity designer so you don't have to press the control s or, or save it if you go back to the tab where these designs are you will be able to see mockups now if you do not see mockups you are just seeing these artwork areas simple plain rectangle shape designs don't worry let me show you how you can uh, see the mockups clearly so uh, in this uh, in this uh, layers panel there is a uh, group that is called product preview so if i uh, click this little triangle i'll be able to uh, see these three mockups here so let's just select this uh, first of all this 16 by 16 pillow and again i'm going to press this little triangle now again this one here you will be able to see the product pillow that is the curve and then there is an artwork at the top so if i bring this artwork dust just down make it the child of this pillow you will be able to see the mock-up clearly this is how simple it is let's do it again with this next pillow again you have this pillow mask that is the curve shape and you are going to bring the artwork not the levels separately just select the artwork make it a child of the pillow and you will be able to see the mock-up how it will look on it so let's now try it on the tote bags or tote bags i still have not learned how to pronounce it correctly but anyway so let's uh, select this artwork and bring it at this shape front because it is above it so let's make it a child of this front shape and the top artwork make it child of this shape back side and you will be able to see the mockups and now it's how file is prepared you can save it as affinity designer file as well so that you can later use it without opening up psd files you can save it as well now again if i want to change the pattern let's just change the pattern and select a different one if uh, so for that purpose we are going to select this rectangle shape that we have just created and if you are going to want to uh, see those safe zone just bring it uh, below 
uh, you know above the background layer and below these safe zones so you will be able to see the safe zones clearly and that totally depends upon you but if you are going to save it and uh, for that you will have to you know uh, hide these uh, safe zone layers so let's just select this layer and choose a different pattern again we am going to choose this, this fill tool and at the top i'm going to select the bitmap again and i'm choose i'm going to choose a different file so this is the pattern that i have prepared inside i think inside a lobby illustrator if you want to learn that uh, you know where to find it so again I'm, i can just scale it up and addition to that i can rotate it as well that's the beauty of this uh, you know uh, software is that you can rotate the patterns as well so i'm going to have rotated the pattern and i might scale it down a little bit uh, again as well so i think that looks fine so i have rotated the pattern change the pattern again i don't have to save it i'm going to simply go to that product and our mockups are already there so this is how easy it is you can do it inside affinity designer and once you have to save these products make sure that your guide layers are not visible this layer is unchecked at the top layer this layer is also unchecked uh, and uh, everything is good and if you want if you have png image or something like that, have any kind of transparent pattern you can choose again uh, create a different you can say that uh, color uh, this already have selected that pattern don't worry make a, a rectangle or square shape and bring it uh, it is already down so if it in it is at the top make sure to bring it at the down and then inside the fill instead of bitmap maybe choose the solid color and change the color depending upon your uh, theme or whatever it is so let's just choose a black maybe and again you don't have to save it your products will be automatically updated so this is how you can change the background as well so if we don't want more any kind of background let's just uncheck it and maybe the white background let's just uncheck it as well and let's just save it so in order to save it i'll simply go to the file export and i'll choose the png image the size is already mentioned png image the sampling is by sampler and the whole document is good to go and then you can simply export it and your files are ready to be uploaded on much by amazon for uh, you can say that new products so this is how you prepare your files inside photoshop and affinity designer but again as i, I uh, as i already told you, you do not have to use the same templates you can simply create a file size and there are width and height pixels 29 25 and you are good to go and about the dpi you should use 300 dpi but if you do not use 300 dpi that's still okay because those pixel size should be the same as their requirement so hopefully you have found this video to be useful and if you have any questions uh, regarding the topic in this video or, or any any other video on this channel you can ask me in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer these uh, those comments and in addition to that if you want to join my facebook print on demand group you will find the link in the description below and you are welcome in that group as well so hopefully this video has been helpful for you if so make sure that you like the video and don't forget to press that uh, subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can be notified about my future videos as well and let me know what are your thoughts on these new products and the timing when have amazon has introduced these new products this close to the holiday season so let's discuss it in the comments below as well and i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching